we're going to have a conversation about why a buy box is so important. We're going to talk about why preparation is so important. Also, of course, we're going to compliment Mr. Brian Anderson on that shirt. Dude, I love that shirt, man. That is awesome. Look at that. That's clean. I appreciate it, man. My man, my man, Robert Graham. We've been acquainted for some time now. Oh, I, I love Robert Graham. I have several of his shirts, a couple of limited edition stuff. Yes, I, love, I love, I just got a lot of color. I love color. Yeah. So uh, yeah. very, Thank very you. cool. Well, let's talk about this. Why is, why is it so important to be prepared and, and really start doing the work in a buy box, all of that? I think when you go into real estate investing, and I'm speaking from my own experience. I think oftentimes you believe you know more than what you know. <laughs> True. Right? Yeah. And um, I think about the first 15, 20 properties that I bought during the market con uh, contraction. It was impossible to lose because stuff was just so cheap, especially in my market. And it wasn't until, you know, I didn't... I didn't plan for the the capex because I didn't know what that was, right? <laughs> so so we went in and we did the minimum requirement to get these properties up, habitable, running to put tenants in them. But I didn't know the lifetime on the roof. I didn't know the lifetime on HVAC. I didn't I didn't understand the construction dynamic of what I was doing. All I knew was that if I buy it at this number and I put somebody in here, it's impossible to lose money, right? But what I didn't think about was when all of these CapEx expenses came that I didn't have the money for. And at that wow. time, because I didn't have any type of mentorship or education, I also didn't, one, believe that anybody would give me money. And secondly, have the skill set to go out and raise capital. Mm -hmm. And so I had to essentially forfeit my whole first portfolio from ignorance, right? And I always say that ignorance is expensive. So I think it's, it's of uber importance to understand the buy box, to understand the rehab costs, to really understand like what are you doing before you ever start doing it, and and so right. you know after getting mentorship in 2015, I've never stopped. I've never stopped investing in myself because that was an eye opener for me. That if I would have had the right people, the right resources, and the right knowledge at that point in time, I really was free at 24, 25 years old, but just didn't have a wherewithal to understand what that even meant. Yeah, one of the things that uh, it's funny. I just had a conversation with Pace Morby yesterday, and one of the things that he said during that conversation is, "You kind of you you even if you have a good season, you're going to kind of self regulate and, and kind of pull back to the your five friends." Mm -hmm. And it really sounds like that's the same story for you, right? You were killing, you were doing the right things, you were you were just about to break away, but since you didn't invest in in creating that you know, those circle of five new friends or whatever you want to call them acquaintances, you, you couldn't up level yourself. And it just, just always happens. It, just, it, it pulled you back down and you know, the first portfolio was gone. 100%. Albert Einstein, I believe says the same level of consciousness that created a problem won't be the same level of consciousness that fixes it. Ooh. So we can't fix our own problems. We don't have the capacity to. So to right. your point, Mike, yeah, who we surround ourselves with is critical. And for many people like myself, I, I, if you don't come from that environment, you have to pay to get in that environment. And yeah. for me, it wasn't a function of not wanting to pay. I didn't know those rooms existed. And once yeah. I figured out that there was a secret room, then I've been paying to get in them for the last decade ever since. Oh, I, I love all of this. And one of the things that's, you know, one of the things I did is I created a school community here mm -hmm. about four or five months ago. It's almost 300 people strong, which is pretty amazing. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's going. It's going to a thousand. We're going to be the biggest, best real estate investing school. Uh, I, I'm just declaring it now. But the key for me is just watching the community because as a creator, you you kind of have to poke it and prod it to get it going. But now that it's almost 300 individuals, I'm not even the most active poster, mm. right? And and the beauty of the school community is it's all different levels, all different types of real estate investing. You know, Pace likes to say there's 51 different ways to make money in real estate. They're all in the group, right? I was asked a question earlier about short-term rentals. I'm like, not my thing, but let's post it in the community. Lots of people are doing STRs. And uh, I really I really think the community inside school is, is going to be the thing that I'm known for the most in a decade, right? Now it's the book or the YouTube channel, but I think the school community is going to help so many people because it is that place where you can find your friends, right? There are people in there. This is crazy. Three different people with no prodding from me mm -hmm. 
have stepped up and said, I am going to run an accountability group. I have never showed up. We got Jared Sundays, Max on Mondays, and Frank on Wednesdays. Wow. Let's just wow. let's think of that. So again, I um you you gotta fire your friends, man. You gotta get in the right rooms, you gotta be prepared, and you gotta know when you're over prepared. There's some of you out there that have been procrastinating. Right. So that you gotta be in the right, right, uh, right rooms, right groups. And I'm I'm happy to have a one of those right rooms for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a blessing, man, that you that you've been in this position to help in all of these different facets. And it sounds like, and I agree with you. I think the school community is going to be the gift that just keeps on giving because unlike the YouTube, you know, when, when, when you get off the platform, then what, right? So now right. school gives everybody a place to go off the platform that they can start to, to build more communities within that community. That's amazing, man. Amazing. That's awesome. So, so let well, me ask you this. But because you have this community, 300 people, I, I, I would imagine there's people in there at varying levels. There's of probably questions being asked from varying levels. Mm -hmm. What have you seen to be probably the most dangerous of a situation that someone has been in based on the line of questioning that they're asked or the, the thing that they're pursuing that you know they, they're not equipped yet for what they're trying to do? Well, I really see polar opposites there's sometimes you 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 can almost see somebody going too fast mm -hmm. right they they got the bug they got the they got the you know the inspiration and for whatever reason they have a bunch of capital and they just go 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 right kind of like your first story right you you bought 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 and it went 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 um you can go too fast in fact mm -hmm. you know i see it all the time so that's one thing and then the other one is lack of focus. Okay. It's just this or that um, shiny object or different. I mean, it, it different cities, different asset types, you know, lack of focus. And again, as, as somebody who didn't appreciate that was my superpower until too late, that one, that one's easy for me to pick up. It's like, no, focus is permission to ignore. All, that's what mm -hmm. people don't get. That's it's permission good. to ignore. That's good. That's good. Focus is permission to ignore. I like that, Mike. Yeah, I'll be still in that. I'm just saying it publicly so you know. <laughs> I got credit. There you go. Yeah, yeah. No, that's really good. So going too fast could be one because people with their own money enable themselves to make poor decisions, right? And I then think they can jump the line. That's yeah. the problem. You yeah. can't skip the work. Yeah, you you just can't. So so I like that, right? So I I I was curious about. We've been on this Bible series, this wisdom series. What does the Bible say about real estate? Right? I mean, they had it back then. I mean, the whole essence of a landlord was a lord of the land, right? Um, we depict it as something different today. And so I found this passage, Luke 14, 28 and 29 says, But don't begin, but don't begin to build until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you will complete only the foundation before running out of money, and then everyone will laugh at you. That's in the Bible? In the Bible, bro. <laughs> it's kind of a financial book, huh? Bro. So money, money, there's huh. money and money references over 2,000 times in the Bible. It is the most referenced thing in the Bible. More than really? love, more than anything else. Money and possessions are mentioned over 2,000 times in the Bible. And when I when I read this passage now, in context, and Jesus is really talking to his disciples at this point, describing to them with this parable of understanding what the costs are to follow him. Because they like, yeah, we want to follow. He's like, look, you better count the cost. It's going to be. Yeah. Let's be up front about this. Right? It's going to be. Yeah. But, gonna, he also, be but he also meant it literally. And I think about everything we were just saying, and I'm like, man, that's so synonymous with this scripture. But don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of money and everyone will laugh at you. I love and that so, closing line, and everyone will laugh at you. I love that. Bro, and, and I think um, in, in another translation, it says, and everyone will call you a fool. Hmm. Equally good. 
Yeah. yeah. So when you think about that and you think about those that's go that's going too fast, if you don't calculate the cost regardless of how much money you have, right? Yeah. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to laugh at you. 100%. And so, um, obviously, I, th I think it's less about the poking fun part as it is about the due diligence piece. Oh, of course. Right. And, and you know, hopefully those that watch this video would get just a little poke or pride to say, let me make sure I really understand what I'm doing. Let me really make sure I understand my buy box. Let me really make sure... I get in some type of school community or otherwise to get with somebody that's done a lot of rehab so I could understand what the construction costs are, right? Because how do you know it shouldn't cost $300 to replace a wax ring if you've never done it? Yeah, exactly. Right? Well, I, I was I was telling somebody, I, I went to the, uh, get my oil change uh, five, six weeks ago before I went to South Florida and they're like, it's going to be 140 bucks. I, okay. Like, how, how do I know? Right, right. Like, yeah. I have no idea what the oil change should cost. Um, even after doing it so many times, I still don't know. Like, I don't remember what the what it was the last yeah. time. But think about when that's a fifty thousand dollar rehab that that's maybe should cost thing. you twenty five or thirty, but but you don't know. So right. there's a cost to not knowing. Again, ignorance is expensive. And and Mike and I just encourage you: go, go find your tribe, get somewhere, get some yes. help. You know, sign up for school if you haven't. Um, you, you got to get around other people that know more than you do. And you also have to have enough wherewithal to understand that you don't know more as you don't know as much as you think you do. Love that. Love that. Right. We're going to keep this going with the Bible. I had no idea it's mentioned two money's mentioned possessions 2000 times. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to go through, man. You're amazing. Where can people follow you? Brian Adamson official YouTube, Instagram, and everywhere else. And let's not forget that awesome studio you got behind you there. That's Thank a nice, you, nice setup, man. It's clean. I had to build something to complement this beautiful belt that I got in Vegas speaking at this phenomenal conference, you know. Oh, man, you're amazing. Take care of yourself, Brian. Yeah, thanks, man.